Shalom. First, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bash Miao Shai, Basham Rukal Kadash, double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Muslim and Rule Well, and the Shalom to the elect out there, man. Um, this is um, Luke chapter 9, verse 57. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Foxes have holes and birds of the of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Yehoshai said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of, of Yahweh. And the um, reason I was going into the scripture is because um, today um, one of my family members was speaking to me about uh, someone who died in the family. And they wanted me to go to um, the, you know, the burial or whatever. And, um, you know, they mentioned it and I pretty much straight said, you know, I've got stuff to do. I'm busy. Um, and, um, yeah, man, you know, other than many implications of that, uh, Yahweh Shai said it best. He said, um, let the dead bury the dead, man. Bury their dead. So, he says, go, but, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Now, I could have been sitting there, right? With all these guys, you've got no understanding. My so-called family, you know, they're wailing and, and lamenting over this guy who I don't know that well, but you know, it, well, he's been taken away now from from you know this judgment that's to come. He's been judged himself, and now he's now he's um, up in the spiritual realm, man. You know, let me get that quickly. I had that loaded up. Let me just go to Job quickly. Um, this is Job chapter three, verse thirteen. For now should I have lain still and been quiet, I should have slept, then had I been at rest. So that guy's been, basically, he's been put, he's, he's gone to sleep, man, you know. Uh, uh, it says, with kings and counsellors of the earth, which build desolate places for themselves, or with princes that had gold, who filled their houses with silver. Uh, if you keep going, it says, there the wicked cease, verse 17, there the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. There the prisoners rest together, they hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and the great are there, and the servant is free from his master. So, when you go up into the spiritual realm, okay, um, you're basically there in order uh, with the Most High, His Son, and the angels. And, you know, it says the small and the great are there, okay, that you don't hear the voice of the oppressor. The wicked are there as well, and they, they don't, they don't, you know, they don't do wicked acts. They do that, that, that happens on the, on the place of judgment, which is under the, under the sun, which is the earth, man. Okay, um, so you know that guy basically he's he's up in a spiritual realm, man. You got all these guys down here lamenting about this guy, but when he was alive, it, no one was hollering at him like that, you know. Now all of a sudden, the people are lamenting, and they want to go to this. It's all one big facade, man. Everyone wants to show that they care when they don't, you know. It's bullshit, man. But the law said it best. The law said, look, you know, let the dead, right, ones that, ones that are spiritually dead, let them bury the dead, man. Okay, you but you go and preach the kingdom of Yahweh Bar Shmuel Shai, and that's that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm here preaching, preaching um, Yahweh Bar Shmuel Shai. Um, you know the truth, man. You know. Um, so let the dead bury the dead. Now, if you go to Proverbs chapter twenty-one, verse sixteen, it says the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Now, if you read Ezekiel thirty-seven, you've got the valley of dry bones. Yeah. Now, our people. Right now, man, although they're, you know, the seed of the righteous, although they're a spiritual people, right now they're really spiritually kind of dead, man. They're carnal, you know. And um, because of that, they're remaining in the, what's the congregation of the dead. Because why? The ones that are going to be saved, their names are going to be written in the book of life. Because it's Yahweh it's Shai that gives you the life. Okay, and these guys are not seeking after Yahweh Shai. They're not seeking after the word of Yahweh. Okay, they're not seeking after our Lord. And that's why they ain't going to be covered, man. Okay. That's why it says the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And I'm just going to have a quick look at the word understanding. Got two quick scriptures. It says Job chapter 28 verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom. Right? You can read that in Proverbs as well. It says, And to depart from evil is understanding. How do you depart from evil? Because we're, we're, we're fucked up. Hey, you got you got to be covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And all of Israel... Um, will in the will basically see eternal salvation because they're going to be um, set up in the kingdom of heaven 
okay, as the rulers over the whole earth. But the elect are the ones that are going to be saved on this side, the elect of the nation of Israel. They're going to be the ones that are going to be redeemed from the coming destruction on the earth, man. Okay? And it says, and we and the elect are trying to depart from evil, right? By using understanding, by applying the things that they've learned, man. Okay? Psalms 34 and 14. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. And who is who is the, the prince of peace? Isn't that not Yahweh Shai? So, you got to pursue after Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, if you if you got family members, you got people you know who are not in your house shy, then they are dead. They are they are pretty much walking dead people, man. They got a, t a ticking timer on them with their with a death timer. Okay, now you're gonna get ones of the of the of the elect that are gonna are gonna be killed, martyred, right? But those are the ones that are gonna be raised up first uh, with your house shy. Uh, we're gonna be together with your house shy, man. Okay, so but to, to to die honorably for your house shy. As a martyr, that's that's a that's a whole different kettle of fish. That's a that's an honourable death. But uh, these guys are just dying dishonourable deaths, man. When will the righteous ever cut off? So yeah, man. Hey, these guys, you know, let the guys in the world worry about all that shit and let them do that stuff, man. You know, this, uh, you know, not to get caught up in things in the world, you know, and um, not to feel pressure or feel uh, as a man, you're not meant to be able to be pressured into situations that you know you don't want to do you got to come to the conclusion in your own mind okay uh, the lord is going to guide your steps you got to pray for that and um you know uh, for brothers who maybe have problems with family and all that because family is always about creating problems it's good to just um you know see it for what it is you know honor your mother and father okay but um at the same time you're your own man in this truth you you're out there really you know Hey, Yahweh Shai said to his his mother. He said, um, when you know, when he came of age, he said, "Look, don't you don't you don't you know I'm about my father's business, and we gotta be about our father's business, okay? So we ain't got the time no lollygagging, going to no fucking um, burials, man, okay? But now no dead bodies and shit like that, man. Nah, man, that's off. You know, we listen. Forget that, man. You we gotta do the work right now. That's and we we will see life." Which is what we're seeking after, okay? In the kingdom of heaven, man. We don't want to be here caught up within the congregation of the dead, okay? We want to we want to have our keep our understanding and keep going, man. You know. So that's just a quick lesson, just a quick experience I went through. So I thought I'd share it, man. You know. With that, with that we'll praise the Halbashmiyashai. The bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.